Salutations, my good brethren. I'm Davey Kind. Welcome to Uzumaki Realms, where we create stories and dubs about your favorite anime universe. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and leave a comment about what kind of content you want to see next. Enjoy! What if Fu befriended Shino? Episode 2, A New Friendship. Hey! You're from the Leaf Village. I just so happen to be making my way over there right now. Hmm? A young girl alone in the woods, huh? I assume you're able to take care of yourself. Um, hello? I have wings. Don't I look like I can take care of myself? Shino scratched his head. If he knew the answer, he wouldn't have asked it. Now I kind of feel dumb for asking that. I would have liked to see what you could have done to fend off those ruffians. Ruffians? Huh. <laughs> you talk a little funny. I'm not sure what you mean. Fu smiled at the sunglassed late teen. She was stricken with pure curiosity and began to walk circles around him. He stood still and let her check him out. Shino could sense her no matter where he was. Fu decided to lunge for an attack, but the man stopped her in her tracks using the power of his bugs. I guess you can sense me coming, huh? Right, you're in. You are now part of my special friend club. Special friend club? I want you to be my new friend. The requirements are pretty simple. If I'm in danger, help me out. Although, I doubt that'll ever happen. But if you're in danger, I will do the same. The other requirement is that you let me in on how you do that little bug jutsu of yours. I think that'll help me out in the long run. Especially when I enter the Chunin exams. You're attempting to become a Chunin. Well, I don't think it'll be much of an issue for me. Especially since I have Chomi. I'll let you meet her if you don't tell Shibuki, Sensei. Shibuki? So, do we have a deal? Can you be my friend? Fu extended her hand to Shino with her eyes closed. She cheesed at him and eagerly awaited his answer. He smiled slightly and grabbed her hand. Just then, Yoro and Kigun finally caught up to Fu. They were worried sick. Yoro eyeballed the bug man. And just who are you? Leave him alone, Yoro. He's my new friend. Um, how do you do? <laughs> Isn't he just the funniest? The guardians looked at each other, eyebrows raised. Shino explained that he was on a mission to check out the forest. Apparently a giant stink bug had been gassing the area, killing off the animals and taking out crops. He was making his way through the trees and hoping to find evidence of the stink bug when those grunts of another village attacked him. He looked back at what was left of them and wondered why they wanted to fight in the first place. He had done nothing wrong. Kigun pulled a map off of one of the bodies. These shinobi seem to have been searching for our village. Oh, yeah? And why do you think that is? Kigun and Yoro remained silent. Fu stared down at the ground. I'm not sure. But hey, it's all over and done now. I'll help you find your little stink bug. Well, it's not supposed to be little. Well, we'll just have to see about that. Fu, we should probably make our way to the village first. We will need to be there on time for the exams. Oh, you're right. Hmm, Shino, when do exams start? We have a few days, no need to worry. See, Kagan, everything will work out, believe me. Now tell me more about your home. I want to know all about it. The group jumped off through the forest. Shino told the amazed and excited Fu about the leaf and the people he's come in contact with over the years. For some reason, Fu made him feel really comfortable, like he could tell her anything. Yoro and Keegan remained alert. After traveling through the widespread forest for a couple of hours, the ninja came across a dead clearing. The valley was yellow and dry. Shino stopped to evaluate. Not a bug in sight, huh? Honestly, how much damage could a stink bug do? Hmm. What's wrong, Chomei? 
Who is Chomei? We will proceed with caution, regardless if it's just a stink bug or not. It has the power to kill, and is a lot larger than us humans. A faint smell still lingered in the area. The waterfall gang held their noses in disgust as they got closer to the mountain at the end of the valley. Chino's mouth and nose remained covered by his coat. Come on! You can't tell me you don't smell it. I smell it, but it has no effect on me. The bugs inside me neutralize harmful smells and toxins. It doesn't smell like flowers or anything. It's more like walking past your daily trash. What? Really? That's so cool! Chomei, why are you that cool? Fu, who's Chomei? She's my friend, silly. Uh, uh, uh. Fu suddenly dropped to the ground, her face stricken with sickness. Her bodyguards rushed to her aid. Fu, are you all right? I... I feel... You know, you too? I don't know what's wrong. My body... I can't... move! Seems that awful stench from the stink bug is potent here. We're close. Holding your noses helped for the travel. But you were screwed as soon as you let go of them and took a big whiff. Im impossible! How can this be? This deadly! Foo! Fly away! <laughs> I won't leave you. <coughs> you guys are my friends. Shibuki would kill me. Shino walks up to Fu and grabs her arm. You knew this would happen, didn't you? Yes. Damn you! Are all Leaf Village Shinobi like this? No. I'm probably the only one that can really save you. The poison is paralyzing you. First, it'll have you stuck. Then, all your internal organs will begin to shut down one by one. After that, you die. A bug climbed down Shino's arm and bit Fu. The paleness in her face began to find color, and she slowly regained her ability to move. Shino made his way to the other two and healed them as well. After she regained feeling in her legs and stood up, Fu ran to Shino to show her appreciation. She tripped over her own feet and fell into his arms. Fu, are you all right? <laughs> Thank you, Shino. I'm a lot better now. You're awesome. Hmm. Let's go get that bug, shall we? You bet! <laughs> <laughs>